Hey guys, it's me, Slushy. Now I decided to take a break from live streams lately and decide to make a little review uh, in a string of other videos that will be coming out within the week, in the coming of weeks. Uh, so to start it all off is Scream Season 3. What are you supposed to be? Now, I just got done uh, binge watching it, and from the beginning to the end, it kept me entertained. Uh, you know, it had everything that made the Scream series great, okay? It had the suspense, the shock value, the plot twists. Uh, it even had your cliches that really fit into a Scream, you know, movie or show, whatever you're trying to do it in. Uh, it really had everything that fit the Scream image as a whole. You know, right down to the good plot, uh... You know, very intricate killer plot that usually is a lot more than what you'd expect from a slasher film. And on top of all that, it had incredible gore, a lot of really violent scenes, especially for a TV show. Maybe it's just because I haven't been watching TV lately, but I've never seen a TV show with this much violence, except for maybe The Walking Dead. This has to be the most, second most violent show I've ever seen. An incredible cast. R.J. Seiler's in there. Mary J. Blige. Uh, Queen Latifah is an executive producer, uh, and Tyga the Rapper's in there. I didn't have much hope for him because he's, I don't really care for his music at all. Uh, but he's actually an okay actor in this film, I, or this, in this series. I didn't expect him to be as good as he was. I'm not saying he's top notch, you know, super Hollywood caliber actor. He's not, he's not that great. Okay. But for the character that he's playing and for this small TV show, it's pretty good the way that he acted and no spoilers on his character, but he does play a very interesting big part of the big part of the series in this, uh, in the, in the entire series. So it seems like he's not a big part, but he really is. Good morning, gangster. Roger Jackson, the voice of Ghostface in the original movie series has come back to voice the character for this series. And first off, that was enough to get me to watch it, just by the fact that I'd be able to hear him uh, for the first time since Scream 4, which was awesome. It's awesome to hear him, as as always. Uh, he's one of the founders of the, the sort of a reboot of the slasher genre, because Scream came at a time when slashers were pretty much almost dying out in a way, in a sad way. Uh, so he kind of really kept it going, really, with his movies. Uh, out of a 10, what do I give Scream Resurrection or Scream Season 3? I would have to give it a solid 9 out of 10. You know, the characters are very, well, for the most part, pretty likable. At least the ones you're meant to like are pretty likable. Uh, Beth, I really enjoyed her character, uh, even up until the end. Uh, <sighs> Dion was a great character, you know. I just all the pretty much all the leads were incredible, and Tyga's character Jay, he was pretty good. I got I can get behind him pretty easy. Uh and God damn it, this even Mary J. Blige was incredible as the mom. So, you know, I have I I can't really say if I have anything really super negative to say. Uh, except for there's one thing. It seems like sometimes the plot twists are almost jarring. They happen so frequently that you almost get no time to really piece together what the hell is happening. It's like they're like, oh, this is what's happening. Bam, plot twist. Oh, you think you got it figured out? Bam, plot twist, plot twist, plot twist. Over and over until the end of the episode. And they leave you on a cliffhanger. You join back in. And it just ends abruptly. It's like they, the end of the previous episode is almost like meaningless for the coming of episode, which was also kind of weird. But that's really literally my only bad negative things I can say about this. I enjoyed it. And I know that this thing's getting a lot of negative feedback from horror fans saying that the ending, uh, I'm not going to get too far into this, but the ending is a mockery of horror and horror fans when in fact is not. If you really listen to what the character who is playing Ghostface or who turns out to be Ghostface is saying, you would understand why this person is saying it. And I, I honestly thought it was an incredible series and I really hope that we get a season four. I, I can almost doubt it's going to happen, but, and I'm not saying with this characters, these characters in this one, I'm saying completely bring in a new cast of characters to start something else. Cause man, the way that they did it with this was incredible. And I would not mind seeing a bunch of new other characters coming in for season four 
Or if you want to continue the Brandon James uh, legacy from season one and two, go ahead and do that for season four. I don't know, but season three was incredible. I give it my stamp of approval, whatever that means to you. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have seen Scream Resurrection or Scream Season 3, let me know down below your thoughts. If you haven't seen it yet, do you want to see it? Are you interested? Did my review spark you to want to see it? Let me know all that crap down below. And uh, let me know what your favorite Scream Scream movie is. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Who you are on the inside.